Hey y'all, welcome back to Monday Madness with Lucas. So this week's episode we're talking about um, being trans in public spaces. Uh, this mostly affected me when I was pretty because I was very androgynous so people were always like questioning whether you know it was female or male. Um, so yeah, so that was mostly when it affected me in general. Um, now it's pretty much Hey y'all, welcome back to Monday Madness with Lucas So this week's episode, we're talking about um, Being trans in public spaces um, Obviously, for me, pretty much now It doesn't affect me very much Because I'm more, I pass a lot more than before When I was pre Um But I remember back then The biggest thing for me was um, Going to the bathroom uh, I was very nervous about going to the bathroom pretty just because I wasn't, I felt like I was going to be outed or, you know, someone's going to tell me something about going to the wrong restroom or something like that. Um, I didn't get over that till about a couple months on T and then now I'm able to just go in, go out. I've learned that they don't care how you look. You just there to do your stuff and that's it. Um. Another thing would be um, work. Before I would come out at work, I came out of work the first time at the job I was working at, at uh, the, community, the college I was working at. And um, they accepted it pretty well. They changed the pronouns for good. Um, now I'm more of a, I'm not stealth like that. I'm more like, if you don't ask, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I feel like that's more of a personal choice for me um, at my new job here. Uh, they don't know on this. I mean, and I don't care if they find out, to be honest. Um, whereas um, most of my friends are identified as trans or queer, and they're more of like the LGBT community. So um, I'm able to, they know about me and they're accepting of me. Uh, so I don't have any problems there in general. Uh, so that's not something I worry about in general. Uh, I'm very out in my social media. Um, I usually do it because uh, I had people I looked up to when I started T. People I researched, you know, it wasn't very known back then. Um, now I want to pass along where I'm like, I want to be out for those that can't be out. Um, that's for me was the biggest thing. Uh, but now I'm just... I don't care if people find out. Uh, I know my rights in general as a person of trans, especially here in California, very, very liberal state. So I know my rights. I know all that. Um, my girlfriend knows her rights. So we're pretty okay being out trans. Um, she gets looked up a lot because she's a porn star. She's a trans erotica um, porn star. So a lot of people know her. Uh, so it's kind of like, all right, she, they already know she's T, they, you know, she, they know that she has a T boyfriend and probably know I'm trans as well. So, um, for me in general, I know for others, they've had issues with, um, being trans and being public, uh, out people outing them and all that. In general, I don't appreciate being outed, but, um, and I hate being misgendered to be honest. But now I just pretty much have facial hair, so nobody questions it. Um, I've had top surgery, uh, you know, I have my pecs, manly pecs now. So I'm like, nobody questions whether I'm T or not. They just assume I'm a cis guy. Um, so I think I pretty much have a lot of privilege on that where people just assume right off the bat that I'm tr not trans. Uh, so I pass very well. Um, not that I want to or not that I don't care about for it. It's just that um, I live my life as it is. And um, my social media tells me I'm out and about and I'm okay. People knowing that I'm trans uh, doesn't make me any different than anybody else. I don't want special treatment for that. Um, I'm just there for others that can't be out people that don't know how they feel and they want to start tea I want to be able to see what they could do um, you know I do work for a lot of um, the trans community so okay
okay? So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.